Israel has once again defied all odds and created a weapon that outshines its rival's defense system in terms of capabilities and strength. Over the years, Israel has been engaged in several conflicts, and as a result, it understands the need to be ahead of its adversary's game to get the upper hand of the conflict. This has made the country invest millions of dollars in the development of a combat vehicle that has shocked many opposing countries. What is this formidable weapon that has surprised the world? What are the capabilities of this weapon? Join us as we go into the details of the top secret Israeli battle tank that has shocked Hamas, Iran, and Russia. In recent events, Israel has been involved in several conflicts with Hamas, Russia, and Iran. These individual nations, which are renowned for their technological advancements in terms of developing lethal weaponry and are hell-bent on destroying Israel in a war that has no end in sight. Recognizing their agenda for what it is, Israel has also invested billions of dollars in the development of weapons that would help bolster their defense system and also lay waste to whatever enemies dares come their way. Recently, this nation has revealed their top secret battle tank that had left its rivals in fear. This formidable battle tank is none other than the Barak tank, which is commonly known as the Merkava 4. Generally, tanks are feared due to their capabilities, but the Israeli's Barak tank has taken a whole new shape and features designs that cannot be found on any other tank. The Merkava 4, a variety in the series, is known for its unique design, advanced features, and impressive combat capabilities. This battle tank represents a major achievement by the Israeli tank technology and has been an important component of the Israel Defense Forces armored divisions. The development of the tank started in 1999 and the production started in 2004. The tank was developed as a successor to the earlier Merkava models, primarily the Merkava 3. This transition marked a significant leap in the evolution of Israeli armored warfare capabilities and this weapon has given it a higher chance to win the war it is presently fighting. There were several collaborations involved in the development of the battle tank. Some of the companies that were involved in this collaboration includes the Armored Directorate of the Defense Ministry, the IDF's ground forces and top Israeli defense companies such as Elbit Systems, Rafael and Israel Aerospace Industries. Now to the unique features of the Barak tank. This tank has removable modular parts that includes the top and a V-shaped belly armor park. This modular system was designed to enable quick repairs and replacement of damaged parts of the tank. Also, this tank possesses unique features when it comes to the protection of its crew members. In fact, it became the first contemporary tank to get rid of the loader's hatch in the turret roof. The reason behind this decision was to reduce the risk of anti-tank guided missiles from penetrating the tank. The Barak is equipped with a high-performance air conditioning system. This feature is particularly important for extended missions in harsh environments. Furthermore, the tank can even be fitted with a toilet, highlighting its adaptability for long-duration missions where crew comfort and functionality are essential. Tank rounds are stored in individual fireproof canisters, reducing the likelihood of cook-offs in the event of a fire inside the tank. The turret of the Barak is electrically, rather than hydraulically, powered as hydraulic turrets use flammable liquid that can ignite if the turret is penetrated. The Barak is operated by a crew of four, a commander, a driver, a gunner, and a loader. These folks are the brains and brawn behind the operation, making sure the tank runs like a well-oiled machine. This battle tank also comes armed with an advanced missile defense system known as Windbreaker. This advanced missile defense system was developed by Rafael. The defense mechanism of this tank is made up of a radar detection system that looks out for incoming missiles and predicts their trajectories. When the system spots a missile, it launches metal pellets to intercept and detonate the missile. This system keeps the tank as well as the crew safe from missile attacks. Even though some of the capabilities and features of this battle tank AI remains undisclosed for safety reasons, 
There have been certain speculations that this weapon would have the potential to identify hostile fire source and differentiate between enemy combatant and civilians, even though the IDF has not mentioned anything concerning AI helping the Barak to possess autonomous abilities. The Ministry of Defense plans to produce more than a dozen of these advanced tanks each year, with the 1st Barak Brigade expected to be operational in just two years. As part of this change, older Merkava 4 tanks will be reassigned from regular battalions to reserve battalions by 2025. The Barak is set to replace all Merkava 4 tanks in the 41st Brigade. The Ministry also mentioned the Barak tank's role in detecting enemies and engaging them with reduced visibility across all combat scenarios on present and future battlefields. The development of this new variant is an important move by the Israel Defense Forces because the battle tank is expected to eventually replace the older Merkava variants. On October 7, 2023, the conflict between Israel and Hamas started when the Gaza Strip controlled by Hamas, fired missiles targeting Israel. This initial attack unleashed more than 3,000 rockets and resulted in an estimated 1,300 casualties among the Israeli population. In swift response to this assault, Israel launched a counteroffensive and officially declared war against Hamas the subsequent day. After Israel cleared out areas that were previously held by Hamas forces, Israel initiated several airstrikes in Gaza strips. It was recorded that these airstrikes led to the loss of over 2,215 Palestine's lives. The United States also mentioned that almost all the population of Gaza have been internally displaced. Despite Israel's attempt to evacuate the Gazans, the plan was futile because the Hamas instructed their residents to remain in their homes. This conflict took a toll of several civilians' lives, and allegations of war crimes have been made towards Hamas and Israel. This has led to an international protest. The United States' active involvement in the situation as Israel's ally has gotten the attention of several nations and also raised concerns about the conflict escalating beyond control and breaking out into a full-blown war. If this happens, world powers like China and the United States would be involved in the war by aiding their allies and supplying them with weapons. These countries might have to also deploy their advanced tanks if the situation persists. The role of the United States in this conflict cannot be overemphasized because it has supported Israel for years, sponsoring Israel's defense budget and providing aid and advanced weapons to the nation. The international repercussions of this conflict have gone beyond just the immediate region but has also reached several nations in the global geopolitical landscape. Let us have a look at the Russian's battle tank, the T-14 Armata. It is a Russian tank that is armed with a 2A82 1M gun. The tank has munitions that can penetrate impressive armor levels. The Vacuum 1 armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot round, designed for the 2A82 1M gun, features a penetrator capable of penetrating 1,000 milliliters of rolled homogeneous armor equivalent at a distance of 2 kilometers. In addition to traditional ammunition, the tank can fire guided missiles like the 9M119M1 Invar-M with an effective range of 100 meters to 5 kilometers. It also features the 3 UBK-21 Sprinter anti-tank guided missile with an extended range of up to 12 kilometers, making it a formidable anti-armor platform. Future adaptations may even include anti-aircraft missiles and a 30mm anti-aircraft gun. The T-14 is a very important battle tank to Russia. It is powered by a powerful ChTZ 12 n 360 diesel engine that is capable of delivering over 1,100 kilowatt. It has an impressive speed of about 89 km per hour and an operational range of over 500 kilowatt due to its 12-speed automatic gearbox and suspension system with 700 mm wheels on each side. This feature enhances the maneuverability and performance of the battle tank. It also has features like innovative armor technology that helps it protect itself. The main protective feature consists of an advanced steel that is known as 44SSVSH. 
This advanced steel is known for its ability to withstand extreme temperatures and also for its high durability. This steel is 15% lighter than the regular armor. It is paired with composite materials and explosive reactive armor. An internal armored capsule helps to protect the crew, while the tank incorporates the Afghanite active protection system that offers both hard kill and soft kill measures to attack whatever threat it comes across. The T-14 is equipped with features to help with sensors and communication. It has an advanced active electronically scanned array radar and secure communication channels for a coordinated operation. If the ongoing conflict between Hamas and Israel escalates beyond control, Israel plans to make use of one of its weapons that is capable of holding off the enemy's battle tanks. The formidable and advanced weapon with these insane capabilities is the Spike Missile System. The Spike Missile System is a fire and forget projectile with a lock-on before launch. It has an automatic self, guidance, and this feature makes it very effective and precise in destroying any form of armored threat. One feature that makes the Spike Missile stand out is the Imaging Infrared Seeker. This enables the missile to locate and engage its target with 100% precision. The Spike System's long and extended range version offers a fire, observe and update operational mode. This tactic is also called the lock-on after launch and what it means is that the missile is connected to its operator by a fiber optical wire. The Spike missile employs a tandem warhead with two shaped charges, a precursor warhead designed to detonate any explosive reactive armor and a primary warhead for penetrating the underlying armor. This configuration enhances the missile's armor penetrating capability. Due to this unrivaled feature, the Spike missile would be replacing the old semi-automatic command with line-of-sight second-generation anti-tank missiles like the Milan and the M47 Dragon in the store of several nations. In addition, the Spike system is also equipped with heat-chasing technologies, and this helps to increase the effectiveness. The Spike system is made up of a launching tripod with a fire control unit and the missile. Instead of the launcher having a thermal sight, it relies on the missile's imaging seeker for discovering its targets. The long-range version of the Spike system has a weight of 26 kilograms, and this makes it suitable for mounting on various vehicles, including fast attack vehicles, armored personnel carriers, and utility vehicles. Its ability to adapt allows vehicles that are not equipped with anti-tank weapons to be equipped with a lethal anti-tank capability. The ability for this missile to adapt was further proven when it was used in various military applications. The missile has been tested as a weapon for autonomous aerial vehicles like the Segem Spurwer. Also, the Spanish Army has included the Spike ER variant onto its Eurocopter Tiger Attack helicopters. Israel and the United States have also explored the possibility of deploying the Spike missile on some of its helicopters like the UH. 60 Black Hawk helicopters and the United States variant finding its place in the UH-60M Battle Hawk helicopters. The Type 99, also known as ZTZ-99, is a Chinese tank that belongs to the third generation of main battle tanks. It was made to replace the older Type 88 tank from the late 1980s. The Type 99 is China's first mass-produced third generation main battle tank and it shows a move towards quick modernization by the People's Liberation Army. Built on the chassis of the Soviet T-72, the Type 99 came into service with the PLA in 2001. It is exclusively operated by the People's Liberation Army Ground Force. The tank incorporates features like modular composite armor, tandem charge defeating ERA, a 125mm smoothbore gun with ATGM capability, high mobility, digital systems and optics. These advancements make the Type 99 a key part of China's modern maneuver combat capabilities. It has gone through different versions, including the Type 98 prototype, Type 99, and the Type 99A. Over the past two decades, more than 1,200 tanks of the Type 99 have been built, solidifying its role in China's military capabilities. The armament that can be found on this battle tank is the two-plane stabilized ZPT-98-125mm smoothbore gum 
that has a carousel-style autoloader. This weapon system is based on the Russians' 246 tank gun and MZ autoloader that can be found on the T-72 tank. The gun can be fired either automatically with the aid of a computer or can be operated manually. The battle tank can carry about 42 rounds of ammunition, including 22 in the autoloader. When making use of the autoloader, the tank can fire eight rounds per minute, but with the manual loader, it can only fire two rounds per minute. The upgraded Type 99 tank has an improved 125 mm gun and a new autoloader that can fire about 10 rounds per minute. This battle tank is equipped with a 125 mm gun that can shoot several types of ammunition and anti-tank missiles. The gun can use the Chinese, Russian, and even the ex-Warsaw packed bullets. The tank can also launch tandem-shaped charge GP-125 ATGMs that is similar to the Russian Invar with a range of up to five kilometers. It possesses features that enables it to find and attack its target while making use of the ISFCS-212 fire control system with an infrared automatic target attacker. What this means is that it can shoot down a target while in motion due to a stabilized main gun, a stabilized gunner thermal sight, an advanced ballistic computer, and a laser range finder. This gun also has the ability to spot targets that are up to five kilometers away. To make the gun more effective with precision, the commander has a thermal sight that can auto-track targeting abilities, while a computer system displays a variety of sensor data that helps it make decisions faster. This tank has a better system for aiming and shooting with precision, and this includes a new thermal imaging sight, a computer for calculating bullet paths, and sensors to measure weather conditions. This helps in aiming accurately even in bad weather. The tank's commander has a 360-degree rotating sight with a laser range finder. Both the gunner and commander sights can stay steady and work in both daytime and nighttime. The tank has a special radar system that is referred to as ST-16 mm wave radar suite. This system is designed and programmed to identify, find, and track targets. Unlike the previous Type 99, which made use of a laser system to identify threats and friends, the radar on the Type 99A is more reliable regardless of the kind of weather it is used in. Its computer can automatically measure, identify, and fix any error that was encountered in aiming while using a system muzzle reference system on the gun barrel and a position that is a sensitive detector below the radar panels. This makes it more likely to find and hit targets in a complex battlefield situation. The tank has an extremely strong turret that is made with angular design, spaced modular armor, and composite panels. Additional armor can be added to the tank, including modular armor and track skirts. The Type 99A may have advanced explosive reactive armor that protects itself against special warheads. It has a system to protect against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats, as well as a system to detect and put out fires. The storage baskets on the sides of the tank and back of the turret are safe spaces and have added protection. The tank also has a system to actively protect itself. Its overall protection, with its regular armor, mixed composite, and reactive armor, is similar to having more than 1,000 mm of strong armor, according to the tank's commander in an interview. Another way it can protect itself includes a laser-based self-defense weapon system, a laser warning receiver system, 12 smoke grenade launchers, and a smoke screen that is generated by injecting fuel into the engine. The LSDW, which is also known as JD-3, is placed on a turning platform behind the tank commander's hatch. It was first seen on the Type 98 prototype, and improvements have been made over time. The Type 99A has a smaller and more compact LSDW. When the laser warning receiver senses an enemy laser, it immediately informs the crew and activates a low-intensity laser to find where the enemy's laser is coming from. Then, it increases the power of the laser to blind the enemy gunner or damage their optic sensors. This powerful laser can be used against both ground vehicles and helicopters, disrupting their guidance signal or harming the gunner's eyesight. 
The LSDW can also interfere with anti-tank guided missiles, especially those using SACLOs like the Milan. The effective range of the JD-3 system is reported to be 3,000 meters on the Type 99 and 4,000 meters on the Type 99A. The system also has a laser transmitter that serves for communication and friend or foe ID one notification purposes. It is obvious that battle tanks are essential to get the upper hand in any war. After comparing the capabilities and features of the Barak, the Type 99 and the T-14 Armorat, which of these battle tanks do you think is better? Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.